So computer software. Computer software is generally a section 197 intangible and cannot be depreciated uh, if you acquire it in connection with the acquisition of assets constituting a business or a substantial part of a business. So obviously computer software is becoming a bigger and bigger kind of uh, issue for different kind of in, uh, different kind of individuals as they start their businesses. So you got to have the special rules with regards to uh, computer software. So however, computer software is not a section 197 intangible and can be depreciated even if acquired in connection with the acquisition of a business if it meets all of the following tests. So uh, it is really it is readily available for purchase by the general public. It is subject to a non-exclusive license. It has not been substantially modified. So if the software meets the tests above, uh, it may also qualify for the section 179 deduction, which is an accelerated type of deduction, which we'll talk about later, and the special depreciation allowance, which is another kind of special depreciation deduction, allowing you to get more of the deduction upfront. So just as a general rule, we think about the straight line as our baseline calculation, make just from a conceptual standpoint, meaning we're going to take the cost and we're going to allocate it over the useful life so that we consume we we show the the cost being consumed as an expense in the period that it helped to generate revenue and then we deviate that either for bookkeeping sensible standpoints like an accelerated method because we get more use from a forklift in the first year than the last year or for for reasons that aren't sensical from a bookkeeping standpoint but possibly from an economic standpoint or lawmaking standpoint, like you want to you want to stimulate the economy, such as a 179 deduction front loading massively or special depreciation front loading massively, the amount of depreciations you can take in the first year or so. So that's discussed later. We'll get into it. If you can depreciate the cost of computer software, use the straight line method over a useful life of 36 months. So tax exempt use property subject to a lease. The useful life of computer software leased, uh, leased under a lease agreement entered into after March 12, 2024 for a tax-exempt organization, governmental unit, or foreign person or entity other than partnership uh, cannot, be, cannot be less than 125% of the lease term. So certain created intangibles. So you can amortize certain intangibles created on or before December 31st, 2003 over a 15 year period using the straight line method and no salvage value. So straight line method, the standard method, salvage value is considered to be the value at the end of the depreciation period. So if it was a piece of equipment, then you would think the salvage value at the end of a forklift, for example, is life of let's say five years or whatever, it's still gonna have a salvage value at the end of that, that time period, which might be just scrapping the forklift or whatever. So it's so then you can you could take that into consideration when you're calculating the straight line, but we're saying no salvage value in this case, even though they have a useful life that cannot be estimated with reasonable accuracy. So for example, amounts paid to acquire membership or privileges of of uh, indefined duration, such as trade association membership, are eligible costs. So the following are not eligible. Uh, any intangible asset acquired from another person, uh, created financial interests, any intangible asset that has a useful life that can be estimated with reasonable accuracy. So any intangible asset that has an amortization period or limited useful life that is uh, specifically prescribed or prohibited by the code regulations or other publication IRS guidance. Uh, any amount paid to, facility, to facilitate an acquisition of a trade or business, a change in the capital structure of a business entity and certain other transactions. You must also increase the 15 year safe harbor amortization period to 25 year period for certain intangibles related to benefits arising from the provision, production, or improvement of real property. So note just as a general rule that the tax code is kind of telling us what 
how many years we have to depreciate something over, for example, and oftentimes what method we have to be using. If we were looking at a, a bookkeeping standpoint from like generally accepted accounting principles or something like that on the financial side of things, we might have more leeway to choose how long we're going to depreciate something because our incentive structure is not to try to reduce our taxes in that case, but try to report accurately for decision making purposes, either internal or external. So for tax purposes, of course, the shorter the duration of the depreciation, the better usually, because that means we get to depreciate more uh, earlier as opposed to a longer duration, which means we'd, ha we'd have to wait before we get to depreciate more. So that's just a general rule you wanna kind of keep in mind. And also as a general rule, we would like to have accelerated depreciation methods as opposed to straight line method if we can get it because again, that front loads the depreciation. So we have the same life possibly, but we're gonna have far more depreciation in the beginning years than in the latter years. And if we can depreciate everything up front in year one, that's usually, but not always beneficial. Why wouldn't it be beneficial? Because possibly uh, it'll, 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 it'll change our progressive tax structure so it might be a case where in the following year, for example, we expect to have more income, which means from a progressive tax system, we're gonna have higher rates and therefore it could be beneficial to, to have more deduction in a following year in some cases you would think. So for this purpose, real property includes property that will remain attached to the real property for an, an, an indefinite period of time, such as roads, bridges, tunnels, uh, pavements, and pollution control facilities. 